At long last, the game finally begins. We are waiting for this masterpiece for a long time. So we are going to break down the ending of Glass Onion. Plus we also break down every character of the film and their story. Before we start this video contains spoilers. A Knives Out mystery brings back Daniel Craig's detective Benoit Blanc to solve another grisly murder, or two. Moving from New England to a lavish island in Greece, Johnson takes the whodunit mystery to the next level and introduces a slew of new characters, any one of whom could be the killer. Miles Braun was surprised to see Detective Benoit Blanc because he wasn't formally invited to attend the murder mystery party, a twist that wasn't revealed until midway through Glass Onion. The sequel is focused on a group of friends, rather than family, whose personalities are incredibly disparate, but who are still close for reasons that primarily involve money. While the murder mystery party weekend doesn't begin with any deaths, things quickly take a turn after Duke is killed, and it's revealed Cassandra Andy Brand, Miles' ex-business partner, died. Like an onion, Glass Onion has a lot of layers that are peeled back throughout the film. How Andy and Duke really died and who killed them. The audience learns that Andy, despite being present at the gathering, died by apparent suicide days before Miles organized the murder mystery party. Duke perished on the island as well, after consuming what appeared to be a poison beverage intended for Miles. However, Miles killed both Andy and Duke, the former because he didn't want anybody to question his reliability, and the latter because he was informed of Andy's passing and desired to bargain with Miles. Andy's drink was roofied by the tech billionaire, who then carried the unconscious woman to her car and left her there till she passed out with the garage door closed and the engine running. To avoid raising suspicion that Miles was the culprit, it was pretended to be a suicide. Meanwhile, Duke's drink was dosed with pineapple juice, which immediately killed him because he's deathly allergic to pineapples. Despite claiming that he's always there for his friends, and the majority of his friends standing by his side, Miles is quick to turn against them to protect himself. Why Miles pushed Andy out of their company. Miles was a brazen inventor who thought he was a genius. Out of their friends, Andy was the only one who recognized him for what he was and was prepared to confront him. Despite the fact that she co-founded the company, Miles finally forced Andy out of Alpha because he had ambitions for the hydrogen cell that she didn't agree with. Miles was able to seize total control of Alpha without any opposition by claiming that he came up with the concept for the business and then paying their pals to testify against her. The murder mystery twist, why Miles decided to kill at his party. While Benoit Blanc thought his pals had a reason to murder him, Miles had organized a murder mystery party for fun. However, Miles ended up being the murderer. While Miles planned to kill Andy and came close to killing Helen, he killed Duke out of the blue because he was more afraid of being identified as Glass Onion's killer than anything else. It was Miles' attempt to continue to feel victimized by blaming his buddies for Duke's murder. When Duke was the one who invited them all to his own island, how could anyone believe Miles would murder Duke? Miles' innocence was preserved by the turn, at least temporarily. Miles Braun's full alpha plan explained. Miles Braun's hasty plan to assassinate Duke and conceal Andy's napkin, rather than burn it demonstrates his lack of intelligence. Miles' alpha goal was to sell his hydrogen fuel cell to numerous businesses and nations, continuing his awful ideas. His house on the Greek island served as evidence that a whole area could be powered by this new energy source without causing any pollution. He might make a ton of money this way and be referred to in the same breath as the Mona Lisa. Although the hydrogen fuel idea looked good on paper, it was actually very unstable and might cause disaster, as Glass Onion's ending demonstrated. Why Miles' friends finally turned against him. Miles was in control of his friends. Miles had such power and influence over all of his buddies, he could give them money or get them out of any trouble they were in. They didn't always appreciate it, but Miles funding their initiatives was beneficial to them. However, once Helen destroyed all of Miles' belongings, set fire to his house, and destroyed the Mona Lisa, they decided they no longer needed to defend him and turned against him. They may have felt some anxiety before, but now they realized that the tech billionaire from Glass Onion didn't really care about them. 
Glass Onion's tech billionaire only cared about himself and would do anything in his power to protect his own reputation. Killing Andy and Duke showed them that Miles believed they were dispensable and they were no longer willing to play his game anymore. Glass Onion's characters had had enough of Miles and would no longer let him control them or the narrative to the public. At long last, they were finally doing the right thing. Why Benoit Blanc encourages Helen to take down Miles and why he can't. Benoit Blanc is a great investigator and he correctly deduced how Miles was able to murder Andy and Duke. However, as Miles destroyed the glass onion napkin that had Andy's strategy written on it, the astute investigator was left without any proof to hold Miles accountable. Detective Benoit Blanc was only able to manage and intervene in a limited number of situations. Benoit felt confident that Helen would take the necessary action to bring down Miles because she had so much more power than him. Benoit was unable to do what Helen was able to do within the confines of the law because of Helen's courage, drive, and energy. Miles Braun's entire hydrogen fuel cell concept really caught fire, along with the Mona Lisa, as a result of Helen's activities, which demonstrated her ability to destroy him. Although Benoit does excellent work, it is always helpful to have assistance with certain issues that are beyond of his purview. Glass Onion demonstrated that Benoit Blanc is even better with the assistance of true do-gooders like Helen, who can take a whodunit case to new heights, much like working with Ana de Armas Marta in Knives Out.